Okay, um, this is the book cover with two coats of paint on it. Um, you notice the paint was kind of thin. If you used um, uh, white gesso, it would probably be, you know, cover fully, but didn't really need it to cover completely. I just needed it to cover enough to where something would not bleed through. All right. Um, I'm going to set this aside and since it's not quite dry, I'm going to put it like that. And I'm sure some of you remember this as my the journal that I made for my myself. And if you look, I'm going to share it with you. If you look really close, you can see the book showing through. If I had painted it, that wouldn't be showing through the brown. And maybe I did paint it. I don't know. There, but you can see. I don't remember painting this book. I thought, and I, and another thing is, I did not line the fabric. I, no, I did. I did line the fabric. What am I talking about? Uh, I did line it, but it was with something that was, it was really stiff. And I'll show you that on the corners, make sure I'm in frame, on the corners, I can't even see what I'm doing. I can't even see myself. Good Lord, light's bright here. All right, on the corners. <laughs> Uh, it didn't fold very well. That's because the backing was really, really stiff. And um, another thing is, I didn't iron the crease out of the fabric right here. I said I can't see if I'm showing it. I don't know. Let me see right here. I didn't iron that crease out of the fabric. So what happened um, whenever I put the backing on it, it didn't go into the crease so it made it look white instead of laying flat and it, so it looks like it, it's almost like an air bubble but this is my journal anyway so and when I, and I used this is what I used for that particular for this book at the backing I thought well you know more is better in this case more is not better it's just more and it made it bulky and you see how thick how thick that is now, what I ended up using uh, on the book after that was this, and this is lightweight, and it's it's made by Pellon. It's Wonder Under, and it's just a light, a very lightweight. You can see the difference in in the thickness. At least I hope you can. I hope I got that camera angle right. But so if if you get too thick, which I did with this book the corners uh, won't fold over quite right and okay so move that one aside and this I used this particular um, the wonder under this weight of it I used it on this fabric whenever I did this book and you can see the difference in the corners if I can get up there uh, you can see the difference in the corners, how they were, how they folded so nicely. Okay. All right. Just wanted to point that out to you. And also, before I move on to the fabric portion, I wanted to show you that, like this, this is, um, I got this little, like, um, bottle of Captain Crunch whenever Bailey was here, but whenever I get a box like this and I cut it, I also go ahead and paint it. So because you could do this and so it wouldn't show through but you still got this so and it also puts a lot of pressure on that on the those little seams right there so get a box like this just paint it paint it white that's what I did I've got like three three of these boxes painted so if I ever get in the mood to do something I will already have the boxes painted like that all right I want to show you that also, this stuff is really good, and this is pack and packing paper. I, I got this in a box recently um, um, that came from Amazon, and actually it had my fish oil pills in it, but this paper is what I've used to cover, um, it's paper like this is what I used to cover my, um, 
my big, my, my huge book I did, my um, Halloween goth book. I use this kind of paper right here to cover that book. And what I did was, and don't, and don't do it this way, what I did was I scrunched it up really good, like this. And then I went like this, and I sprayed it the different colors. Well, after this gets wet, all of the, those wrinkles kind of come out. So what you need to do is go ahead and spray your inks on it. And when it dries, then crinkle it. And then straighten it back out, and then glue it down. And I used... Um, on this kind of paper, you could probably just go ahead and use a white glue. But I went ahead and used my Yes Paste to glue that down. Okay, that's just some things I wanted to show you. And then this is the fabric that we will be using to cover this book. And I just need to measure it and uh, measure the, um, the Wonder Under and fuse it together. But of course we don't do it on this one. I guess we could do it on this. I just don't, I don't do any cutting near my, <laughs> near my non-stick mats. But like I said, this still needs to dry just a little bit. But, um, I'll put that over there and that over there. And what we're going to do is roll that up. And I might run out of room on my memory card because I'm just recording these back to back to back. But I can just, I'll hear it shut off. And, whoop, upside down. Oh, I'll hear it shut off and I can just start again. Okay. Right like that. And then I just take my book and I do that. I'm going to cut off this piece right here that has the the printed part from the company on it. I'll go ahead and trim that off. I don't know if you can see that part. I'm just trimming it off so it's not really like you have to see. And I'll show you what I'm trimming off. And... It doesn't have to be perfect. Your cuts can be a little jagged because you'll trim it off later. It was just, you know, where it was the name of the company that made the fabric. That's all I that's all I cut off. Okay. So like I said, I don't know how, how much I'm in frame. I can't seem to see what I'm doing here. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay, maybe out there. Ah, okay, out here. Um just kind of lay it on there and see how much you're going to need to roll over like this. Just remember that's going to go down in there. Not going to be that easy whenever you... I usually, for some reason, I'm OCD. i got to have the book up right exactly the way it's going to, you know, it was supposed to be. Now, I'm just going to leave this here. Um, and I'm not putting any support in it. Also, that's what, um, on this book right here, when I said I don't know if I can get my needles through it because it was so, it was so stiff. Uh, my pokey tool to sew a signature in here. It's because I put, um, Tyvek in there. And I'm not, I'm not going to put Tyvek in this one. It's like, it'll be easier. But, uh, probably, that's probably enough. That looks like plenty, see? when you fold that over like that. So, okay. I want to make sure, maybe a little bit more, just a little bit more, maybe like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to cut up, because a lot of this is going to get cut off anyway, especially after the Wonder Under. Um, these scissors have cut so much paper and wire and everything, I'm surprised they're even cutting material. Okay. Alright. Turn it around. And of course my favorite surface to work on because I can stand up and do it and I've got plenty of room is my dryer. Okay. Like I said, it can be jagged because it's going to be covered up and also after you get the Wonder Under iron on it you can um, trim off the bad edges. So, let's fold this back up. Don't need any more wrinkles in it than it already had. Okay, there we go. And that's, I turned it 
it upside down, didn't I? Yeah, I can tell my chickens are on their heads. Okay, and I think it'll go, you know, like that. And I'll show you. I'm going to turn it over. But that's, actually, that's, that's what it's going to look like. That's going to be the, probably should have measured a little bit better. So I could get a full rooster and a full chicken. I'll make sure that I do that whenever I'm, before I put it on there. But yeah, okay. All right, put that aside and bring over my fancy, fancy ironing thing. This is an old towel. And oh, by the way, I did get paint on me whenever I said this is where I did some other stuff. That's where I did some other material. This is a, this is a really, this towel's been through the ringer. But that's where I did cut some other um, material and frayed off on there. Okay, so you just do like this, and probably I'm only going to have one more wonder under, one one more little bit of wonder under. But what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to iron the material. I'm going to spray it with water, and that's what I did not do to my last one. I did I didn't spray it with water. That one I showed you had that big wrinkle in my journal. Um, that you know kind of steams it. This is a steam iron, but I didn't want to put any water in it because this this works just as well. I can get it away from my. <laughs> there we go. You may not see as much, but I mean, not many people iron anymore. I know I don't iron my clothes, but just get it nice and make sure all the wrinkles are out of it. And there, that was pretty wrinkled, but they're out now. So, okay. Then, I said I'm almost out of this. So it's just going to be that little, yeah, a little bit. Just going to go ahead and put it down to there, put it up to there, and. Actually, it needs to cut a little bit smaller than your fabric because it uh, you don't want it hanging over the edges. And I usually trim it out and you know, make sure there's none hanging over, or else you're gonna melt it right down to your ironing surface. Okay, okay. Hate to waste that little bit, but I'm gonna have to cut off. Some on the sides. Put us in there too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cut off about I don't know about that much on the sides. Let's see if that'll do it. I know I'm totally out of camera, but all I'm doing is, like I said, it's not it's not rocket surgery. It's not. not hard. <laughs> it's just, you know, because it rolls like that. I guess if I put it like that, duh. Need a little bit trimmed a little bit more. I'll trim a little bit more off of this. Maybe that much. I said you probably can't see. Check my camera. Let's see, I've got about five more minutes. I don't know. If I can do it in five minutes. The thing about this is once you iron it down, it uh I made the mistake one time of letting it cool completely and if you let it cool completely it won't it, the stuff won't peel off. Okay, so I think that's it. So make sure you're putting it on the back. And the rough side goes down. And that's the rough side because that's got the sticky stuff on it. And iron it down. I'm hoping I'm doing this right. Otherwise, I'm going to ruin my iron. <laughs> it's just like whenever, if you use this stuff to put patches on clothes or if you use it to put your... Um, what your appliques on quilts 
same thing. If nobody quilts, then this is how, how you do it. Make sure you get it. Iron has, has to be fairly hot to melt the glue. But that's what you're doing. You're just melting the glue onto the back of this fabric. And I just, I did. I glued it to my, see how I glued it to my towel? Which I didn't want to do. <laughs> Maybe you can't see. <laughs> but anyway, I'll show you in a second because that's funny. I love, I love it when people make mistakes on camera. It's like, this could happen to you. Get this on there and peel off and then we'll, I'll have to clean off my camera. Uh, my chip. See, see how I glued it to it, glued to it, and then you take an edge and you peel it. Let's see. Okay, if you wait too long, it'll take the the glue off with you, with it. I mean, so I'm going to do that again like that. Okay. All right. There we go again. Mm -hmm. There. Well, it's still warm. And then I'm gonna go back again because this is starting to cool. And get it again. Okay. Like I said. And this is what bummed me out the first time I was doing it. It's like, it's not coming off. It's coming off in pieces. Well, it's got to be warm. So there's your, your tip, is that this still has to be warm when you start peeling it. So. And, again, like that. Because it's going to cool. Let's see, I don't know if you can see when it gets, when it gets, cools down your glue starts to come up with the paper and you don't want that. You want it to, you want it to come off. Keep peeling it. There. There. And this is coming off nice. I don't know why the other my my material's still warm. Okay. Yeah. Oops, nope. Another spot right there. Go back and warm it up a little bit. Okay. And off it comes. There we go. This piece right over here is not glued very well. And then just throw that away, and there you have that ready. And I will come back and um, show you what to do with the back side of this. It's gluey. Okay. So just remember, we're still upside down. And I'll be right back.